10 minutes past the hour right now. It's time for an AM original, something you'll see only on American Morning. He had a hit reality show, a variety show, and now a new book. But Ozzy Osbourne was, is, and forever will be a rock god. He lived a lifestyle to its max and actually beyond that. In fact, he helped invent the lifestyle, and somehow he's still here. Uh, luckily, so is his wife, Sharon. I had the chance to sit down with an older and wiser Ozzy 25 years after our first encounter. Are you surprised that Sharon stayed with you for a Absolutely. Long? She I mean, she's, she's, she's my baby. She's so, she's, she's, she is it because at one point you tried to kill your baby. Yeah. You, you were strangling her and you ended up she trying to kill me more than once. Well, <laughs> imagine as a result. No, but of that. you know, I'm not, I mean, it's a zany time at part of Ozzy Osbourne, but the reality is, I mean, there, that's where it took me. Oh, I, I, in a blackout, I tried to strangle my so that I was told. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Still don't remember. So I, I legend I tried to kill her or something. And I woke up in jail, and that ain't very cool. That ain't very nice. I mean, that's, that's, I have regrets, but and if I could change anything, I would change that. I was interested to read, and there's a photograph of you with Paul McCartney here where you say that he basically... I met my... Good, my when I met Sir Paul McCartney, he was one of the highlights of my life. Yeah, you'd be hard-pressed to look back at the history of your music and find the Beatles' influence. Melody. In they always had... I, he said... That, I, 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 I said to him, I said, you know what? I love you, you guys and then you solo away. He's so... I mean, he's done some amazing songs in his, in his life. I mean, earth-shattering songs, in my opinion. And um, I, said, I said to him, he says, well, what, what, what was that? I said, I don't, I don't see the connection between your music and, and Beatles. I said, you always had the greatest melodies for me. I mean, and he, he's, like, he's, in, he's in his he's 65, 66, or I don't know. Well, you're not far behind. I know, but he, he did like a four hour set. I mean, he's like 40, so I'm not going, he doesn't even stop for a drink of water, you know. How does he do it? He sings perfectly. I mean, I wish I could say I can get up and sing it like every night. I, I, I couldn't, in my prime, I couldn't do a four-hour show like that, yeah. But, but, but here you are, 61 years old. You've got a new CD coming out mm -hmm. this summer. You've obviously still, though, got a lot of gas left in the tank. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's the greatest love affair of my life. I mean, to see, to, to be able to, uh, coming from humble beginnings and, and, and giving people the reason for getting up that day. Is, is, I mean, when I do these in-stores and, and sign the books and things, um, it's, it's some kids like, you know, I was, you know, I was having a real hard time, my mother passed away, and mm -hmm. your album got me through this, I mean, that's really a gratifying thing to do that, you know. I'm so grateful for these kids. Yeah. To, to be able to, I mean, this you know, I, I get them from this age. Yeah. I mean, I now have grandfathers, fathers, and sons coming through. It's, it's amazing. Did you ever think that your musical career would last as no, long as it I, knew, I, mean, I, I, no, I, I think it surprises a lot of people. I don't think the Rolling Stones knew they'd still be doing it. I mean, I, 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 I just, I'm just, um, I'm just in shock that it's like, I thought it wouldn't last more than a couple of years. You remember, know? remember Pete Townsend wrote the lyric, hope I die before I get old. Yeah, yeah. So you get old, then you don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> And it is kind of amazing when you think of what, everything that he put into his body that he managed to live to the ripe old age of 61. And then while he obviously mumbles a little bit and there's obviously been some damage over the years, he's in remarkably good shape. Yeah, he looked great. I mean, he's just walking through the newsroom. He's so, he, as you said, he came from humble beginnings, but he's just a really humble guy. He's just wandering through the newsroom with some yeah. of our staffers. And, and no you know, entourage. We've, we've kind of got a before and after picture here, too. I, I first met him this. in uh, 1985 in Rio de Janeiro. Got to love the mm -hmm. mullet there. Uh, he was playing at the Rock and Rio Festival, January 1985, and then we got together again and sort of recaptured the spirit 25 years later. Uh, both looking a little different, though. Not that much different, though. You got your spirit still the same. Look at you guys. Yeah, That's uh, great. Yeah. 1985 <laughs> was actually a very fun year. Congratulations.